guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to be teaching y'all how to do a sunflower and wood grain peekaboo tumbler. I'm super excited. I think the yellow from the sunflower and the browns from the wood grain are going to look really gorgeous. So to start I'm using a 20 ounce skinny straight from Courtney's Customs Blanks. I'll have my link down in the description. I'm pretty sure I'm out of the skinny straight blanks um, but I do have some wine tumblers and a couple different styles of sublimation tumblers, so make sure you guys go check that out. I base painted this gold from Rust-Oleum. I don't have a yellow paint, so I figured the gold would be like close enough. And for the glitter, I'm using Pineapple Express from the Glitter Grind. This is like a medium chunk is what I call it. I don't really know the technical term for it, but it's a medium chunk and it's kind of got like a color shift to it. It's really, really pretty. So like always, I got my Mod Podge and my makeup brush, so let's get to work. So like always, I'm just going to cover the entire tumbler in Mod Podge. And I mentioned this before, this metallic paint um, starts to like separate from the tumbler very, very quickly once I apply my Mod Podge. So I might have to go back and fix some spots. So if you like see some bare spots, just know that I am going to be fixing it, but like see how it does some weird stuff. I'm pretty sure it's just because of the like metallic sleek texture of this paint. But it's such a pretty paint and I didn't have a yellow one so this is just gonna have to do. So because this isn't a completely fine mix, it is going to stick up a bit and I am going to very gently roll it up into my parchment paper here and just very gently kind of push around to flatten out all of that glitter. You're going to see some fall off, but I mean, that's totally normal as long as you don't have like big chunks. So now that everything is nice and flat, it's going to be a lot easier to epoxy. So I'm going to just let this dry spray it with two times Rust-Oleum Clear, put two coats of epoxy on it, and then come back. Okay, so now there are two coats of epoxy over this, and actually this last coat that I put on was CC DIY's Fast Set, and guys, I put it on like three hours ago, and like it's good to go. Super awesome. I'm going to have a link for them down in the description. So I got these super cute um, sunflower files on Creative Fabrica. I'll make sure to have a link for that in the description as well. One, two, three, four, five, six of them is what I cut out, hopefully. I mean, that should be okay, right? They are two inches tall by 2.09 inches wide, and I'm just going to randomly apply them all over the tumbler. I'm using Hippie Crafters um, transfer tape, which is amazing. Link in the description for this as well. So here we go. So now the next thing I'm going to do is spray paint the tumbler. I'm going to spray paint it brown. Um, it's salted caramel from Rust-Oleum and then I'll come back and do the wood grain and then peel off the sunflowers. Okay, so now time to do the wood grain. I have this bag full of brown alcohol inks. These are all from the Glitter Grind and they are Tim Holtz brand. I'm going to use ginger, teak wood, and latte. I like using three different colors, um, darkest to lightest. I see some people that use just one, which is totally fine. I don't know, I just like to use three colors. So I'm going to shake them up really good, get the lids off, and I am gonna use the sponge brush that you see over here. I got these from probably the Dollar General, honestly, I'm not totally sure, but it's kind of wide, and I'm just gonna put the inks directly onto the brush, and then brush them over um, the tumbler here until I get my desired look.
is done, the next step is to remove the vinyl sunflowers, and I'm just going to use my little weeding pick here to help pick them up. So now the only thing left to do is to pop this bad boy on my turner back here from Bama Cups, add some epoxy, and come back tomorrow or the next day to show you all the final result. After some epoxy, this is what we're left with. I love it. I think it's super, super cute. And I did not seal the wood grains with anything before I put epoxy on it. I just let it dry to the point where it like wasn't tacky anymore, which may be like 30 minutes or so. And then I went straight to epoxy and this is what we have. I love it. I will have this listed on my website and honestly I mean there's a good blank space right here to have like a name like a diagonal name if anybody wants to order this and personalize it which is not something I ever do so <laughs> this is new. Before I go I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day and today's quote is you must not lose faith in humanity. Humanity is an ocean. If a few drops of the ocean are dirty the ocean does not become dirty. That has an unknown author. That's all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'm going to have this on my website. If anybody wants to place an order for it and have their name or whatever put right here, um, just let me know. Just know that the name will be like in a diagonal line. So if y'all have any questions, like always, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!